welcome to Changing Maps on your ARC server. ARC is a fun and very addicting game, let's not mince words. There is so much to explore and discover in just the first map alone. Even with your friends, this can take days to find everything. But what about when you want to change into a new map? Well, luckily, there are a ton that are offered not only officially, but unofficially in the workshop. Which maps are available? ARK has a ton of official maps that are super awesome to explore, and they have tons of variety. The best part about it is, most of them are actually free. There's a couple of easy ways to install them, and we're going over them today, but the coolest part is, you can also use unofficial maps, meaning that any fan-made maps can be used. How to switch maps. The first step of the process is heading into your server, of course, and what you're going to need to do is stop the server. With the stop button, you're going to double down on the red stop when the pop-up appears, and you're going to wait for the server to shut down officially. Once you see that it is server stopped up in the top left-hand side, you're going to then scroll down to the left-hand side where you see the general underneath settings. You're going to click these general settings and scroll down to the base settings area. Underneath the base settings area, you'll see map name. This is where you're going to click a drop down bar, which will show every map that we have available on the server already for you to play. Almost every one of these is free, except for a couple, so just check which one you want and then hit the green save changes. From here, you'll go back to the main page of the panel by clicking the dashboard on the left hand side, and then you're going to simply restart the server or start the server with the green start button. From here, you're going to double down on the green start button once more, and then, once it loads, you'll be good to go. How to install custom arc maps. To install custom ones, we're first going to need to open up the Steam Workshop for Arc Survival Evolved. So go ahead and click the Workshop button under the Library section, and what you're going to do is type in the example for today, Roraima. If you find one that you prefer as a better map, then go ahead and find that too. Once you've found the map of choice, you can always check it out with the screenshots that are available. Once you're satisfied with your choice, you're going to look for the mod ID. Now most workshop mods will have the mod ID in the description, so scroll down until you find it, and then you're going to copy the long string of numbers that are underneath mod ID. Once you've copied that, you'll be good to go. You can also find the mod ID, if you can't find it in the description, underneath the share link. Just click share, and then at the end of the link is the mod ID. You can also copy that to find what you need. Underneath mods and workshops in the panel is where we're going to take this copied number. Underneath active mods in the tab, you're going to paste in the number. And once you have that pasted in and make sure that it is the correct mod ID, you're going to go to the bottom right hand side where you see green save changes button. You're going to select that and of course, save the changes. And under Installed Mods, you'll see that the map has been added. Now all it takes is a simple restart of the server by once again clicking the green Start Server button and clicking the green Start button once more. Then you'll be good to go. Frequently Asked Questions, Issues About Maps. Let's cover a few things that come up pretty often. New map won't load. If this is the case, it's likely that you potentially haven't even done anything wrong it just needs a proper restart. Just make sure that everything is installed correctly and no conflicting mods are a problem. Do previous world files save? Simply put, yes they do. Pretty cool, huh? Whenever you change between maps, the previous world file will be saved for that map. Can I use mods with maps? You absolutely can. You just wanna make sure that there is nothing conflicting. Conclusion. That covers just about everything that you need to know for this tutorial, everybody. If you like this tutorial, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell. That way we know this is the kind of stuff that you like to see. Until next time.